talking live and we'll be broadcasting live from Kimberley. It's beautiful. The sun is coming out. It's absolutely amazing. The whole, uh, well, I should say the convention center is starting to fill up. See loads of kids with their uh, wandering eye reveling at some of the exhibitions uh, that's on offer here today. Now, one of the things that the Department of Environmental Affairs is doing, and it's very, very important, is calling on the youth to consider jobs in the environmental industry. Now, there's almost 316,000 jobs that's linked to the ocean economy. You would have heard the Minister Edna Malewa talk a little bit earlier about World Ocean Day, which is on Monday. But we're focusing on careers, opportunities within the environmental uh, industry. Right now, I'm joined by uh, Bethuel Medise, who is responsible for education and training within the department. Bethuel, thank you very much for joining me. Thank, uh, thanks for uh, being here on Morning Live. Let's talk about this misnomer, that a lot of people have this perception that there isn't uh, money within environment and that there aren't um, organizations or industries that's linked to the department making money. Yeah, fortunately, as a department, we are working very hard on that to change the mindset, to inform the, the, the people out there that there is a lot in the environment. There is a lot that is happening. We are increasing our visibility out in the communities. We've created a lot of uh, what you call pamphlets. We've created a lot of books to indicate to the people. For an example, I've got here with me. Né? This is about environmental careers. Just this one book. It's got more than 37 types of careers that people can look at. And that is not enough. That is not enough. We are also working with CITAS as well to say environment runs across the sectors. All the sectors of the economy in South Africa today, they've got something that they've got to do in the environment. We are reaching out to them. We have developed a lot of materials where we are going out to the CITAS to say, when you conduct training in your sectors, this is the environmental path that you need to follow that you need to follow. So there is a lot and then people must watch out, people must talk to us, we will go come to them and they will see a lot. Even today, in this day, here, we've got the material that we'll offer to the community, we'll talk to different stakeholders to say, look at this green economy, it's here, people must develop what you call green skills. Let's quickly talk about the vastness of, uh, of the job space because you mentioned more than 37 type of professions. But if there's a, a, a youngster, maybe a mom and dad sitting at home and saying, OK, uh, a little bit earlier we had uh, two students here and, you, you were, and they said they wanted to become doctors. Yeah. And you were saying there's opportunity to become doctors within the environmental space. Mm. That's why I, I want to reiterate, re reiterate and say environment runs across the sectors. With those learners, I was trying to indicate to them that if they want to become doctors, when you are a doctor, you've got a role to play in the environment. The environment also influences what you're doing. I ask them a simple question. When you're a doctor, you're going to use medicine. Where do you get that medicine? It comes from animals, some of it. It comes from plants. If we deplete those plants, if we finish all those animals, we kill them. When you are a doctor, you don't have any medication to give to people. So that's that. But the environment sector is vast. Né? It's because we've got uh, more than six broad fields in the environment. One broad field that is very popular is waste management field. Under waste management field, you've got more than 20 types of careers. One of them is you can talk about waste management recycling. Reduce, reuse. It's one of them. Environmental scientist. That's, that's waste management. We've got biodiversity. It's also a broad field. That's why we've got Sanbi. We've got Sun Park. Under them, you can do botany. You can become a zoologist. And because of that, and this, the, the, those that are mentioned in our scarce skills, because of that, the Department of Environment is even giving bazaaris towards that. Because it's a scarce skill, people are not looking at zoology as we speak. And Sun Park is looking for those people. People are not looking at becoming botanists. Sun B is waiting for them. So we are sponsoring people to do that. It's one example. But we also have got air pollution, you know, you are aware of that. So we need air quality managers. Né? to stop this pollution. So it's another broad field. In the municipalities, they are fighting about air pollution, but they don't have specialists who can give guidance to the communities to come with strategies that they can employ so that we, we get rid of this air pollution. That is also have got effect on our health as well, by the way, which is going also going to create a health risk for us. Yeah. Let's talk very quickly. Let's wrap this up. Yeah. 316,000 jobs in the ocean economy. There are uh, so many opportunities. Yet in this day and age, we talk about unemployment, youth. Is there a disconnect between the message you're trying to send and the people receiving it or the youth receiving it? What's wrong? What's happening? Very quickly. No, no, no. At the moment, like I'm saying, we are going out there to educate the people. 
on the environment. People are living in an environmental space. They do not know how they connect with it. So we need to deliver a message out there. So we are going there to teach people about their careers in the environment. Oceanography is one of them. Now, dealing with, with, with the, the environment are, along the oceans and the beaches, there's also business there. We are, we are going out there. We are going to increase the rate at which we teach people so that they can understand. If we do not raise enough awareness, we understand people cannot get into that space. But after getting into that space, after raising awareness, those jobs, of course, will be created and then people will start working. Bethel Medisa, very passionate about education and training within the Department of Environmental Affairs, saying that there is loads of opportunities for youth. All you've got to do is uh, log on, find out where those bursaries are, how you can connect to them, and what jobs in the environmental space works for you. Okay, we're going to take an ad break, but we're still talking to some beneficiaries who've benefited from some of uh, the advancements in the environmental space. Don't go anywhere.